today is the day. I'm super excited. My new Polaris RS1 Razor is finally here. Showed up at Cascade a couple days ago. They got it built and it's ready for me to shred. Super excited about it. But first, I gotta go to the bank and get a check to write a check for the thing because I'm out of checks. I don't know how many 22 year olds actually own a checkbook. I know I don't own an entire checkbook. I own like five checks at a time. But big ticket item, gotta write a check for it. And uh, yeah, super excited. This is gonna be like my my uh, practice rig slash like fun build rig um, for Terracross this summer. So I'm gonna, I'm looking to go out there and put down some fast laps. So I'm really excited about it. I'm committed to Terracross. Um, don't have any sponsors yet, but that's all right. You know, I got faith. Um, and if not, I'll just run the Ricky Bobby me car with the, with the Cougar on it. So yeah, I'm excited and let's go check this thing out. Got my checks, I'm ready to sign one and buy a new buggy. Let's go check this thing out. trailer had to go through town and do a bunch of errands and like get groceries and sign some dumb petition because i can't believe they still have people in front of grocery stores asking to sign petitions about nothing ever and then nobody everybody just scribbles lines so you can't read anything it's the biggest waste of time ever so i did all that and now i'm finally home and now we can go actually check this thing out and go drive it and uh see what what it's all about Let's go. What's up, guys? Well, I just picked up my Polaris RS1 Razor from Cascade Motorsports. Got the first one that they uh, they had on order, so thanks, Cascade, for getting me your first one. And uh, really stoked about it. Picked it up a couple days ago, been sitting around, been pretty busy, so I haven't got a total chance to drive it a ton. But um, got a little bit of time in it yesterday, just like 20 breaking miles out on some forest service roads. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna check it out. Really pleased with it so far uh, for what I'm gonna do with it is uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty cool option. And you know, for the, the five grand to seven grand cheaper it is, um, none of my friends are worth seven grand. I'm not going to pay seven grand just to have a passenger. <laughs> I would, but I can't right now. So this is, uh, we're going to take a little walk around it and uh, show you guys what's, what it's all about. So there she is right there. Thousand cc's pretty much the same as a thousand uh, two seater. Really, really close. 29 pounds lighter. It is um seven inches shorter so you're looking at a instead of a 90 inch wheelbase you're looking at an 83 inch wheelbase so the whole vehicle is just a little bit shorter but it is still the 64 inch wide front end so you still get that nice nice width but when you look at it you really don't feel it doesn't look as wide it looks narrower but that's just the way that the single seat kind of cockpit feels and stuff so still the exact same height um 1340 pounds so 1340 pounds dry this little this little beast of a machine is and really really cool really stoked about it still comes with the the standard um maxis big horns and uh so we'll probably trade those out for some more more all-terrain kind of desert style tire comes with the uh walker evans piggybacks you got your uh hard soft adjustment little cargo here for your stuff got dual fans in the back that's kind of a that's pretty cool you know your great thousand cc power plant 110 horse standard issue power steering obviously check out the cockpit here 
quarter door single side entry and uh yeah so once you're in the cockpit you've got on your right hand side shift lever you've got your key action four wheel drive headlight all standard something cool about it is i like how this gauge actually moves up and down with the steering wheel so see if i can hold the camera and do it at the same time but that kind of makes it really nice and sweet um so that's all one unit in the steering column then one of my favorite additions here is this dual brake lever or brake pedal i should say so you've got your pedal on the left um left and right so if you're like me and a lot of a lot of aggressive guys drive uh, left foot on the brake and uh, right foot on the gas so you can just rest both you don't have to you don't have to kind of cross foot it really bad like like before so really cool i don't know a little couple little storage things and uh yeah really really kind of spacious for for the cockpit itself for a single seater and then something i really like about it is i'm not sure if i like it yet but you can see the tires out, out both sides. So seeing your front tires is something definitely different. And the way it drives is, is, is really nice. You can feel it is a little bit shorter, so it doesn't like to, to drift as much per se. And in four wheel drive, it's really kind of, it really just hugs instead of slides. So those are kind of my first impressions driving it, but being able to see those tires are nice, except when you're just gonna get tossed a bunch of stuff on you. So. Um, you know, in the future, we're probably going to build custom cage and, um, some taller door here and here and then net it and everything, especially if I'm going to go race it, but really excited about it. And yeah, fired up. this thing can't wait to get on a course and like fly it it will fly i'm sure